Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this DaVinci Resolve video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create and animate a bulleted list title. So the idea here is that three separate titles are going to show up on the screen, and they're going to slide out one at a time until they're all there on screen for the viewers to read, and then fading off as the video would transition into a new topic. So I found that the best way to go about doing this is to create one title sequence with the settings and the transitions that you like, and then copy that three times, and then to copy that two or more additional times, setting a new position and time in the timeline for those to come in at, and then making sure that they're all displaying at the same time on separate video tracks. So most likely the original text title is going to give us enough options to complete this. So I'm gonna drag this in roughly where I want the first title to come in at. Next, we can left click on the title in order to set what text we want. Now, because I mentioned that this is about making a bulleted list title, you can actually add a bulleted list dot using your keyboard by hitting Alt 7 on the numpad, which is Unicode for this little dot you would see in PowerPoint presentations. So now we can add in our information. So I might say something like creating a bulleted list title. You can customize the font to one you may like. So I'll see if there's something I wouldn't mind using. Sigo UI I found is pretty okay. So we'll add that in. Uh, you may need to scale up the size, but we can do that later after we create all three of the titles. If you want your title to stand out, I recommend adding in some drop shadows. So you'll see that it's initially toggled on, but you can't actually see any shadow because there's no offset. So if you want it to appear, the shadow that is, to the right and down, then add a positive X value like eight pixels and then negative eight pixels for the Y and you should see a tiny shadow next to the original text. Now, before we copy this title, we're going to want to add in some transitions. So if you want a text reveal from left to right, then the transition we're gonna to wanna to add on is called a edge wipe. So I'm going to drag the edge wipe to the starting part of this title text. Before I hit play, I'm gonna go ahead and mute this audio here because it's not really relevant. And what you'll notice is that the text will go from bottom to top here, which isn't actually what we want, and it goes so fast you can't even see it. So in order to modify that, left click on the transition. You should see a category called edge wipe here. Change the angle to positive 90 degrees. Hit enter, and now try playing it back one more time. And that gives us our wipe from left to right, which I think looks pretty good for this kind of title. If you want it to be a little bit less sharp of a transition, you could add in feathering by checking feathering there and adding in a border. So if I make this something like 100 pixels, what that'll make happen is that instead of instantly showing up on the screen, each of the text characters will gradually fade in until they have 100% opacity. So with that, our title will look something more like this, which I think makes it look a little bit smoother. Of course, we'll need a fade out transition as well. So one way we could do that is to simply click on this white notch at the top right hand corner of our title and drag this over until it says, negative one second. So that'll be a simple fade out, which will look something like this. Of course, if you prefer to try a fancier fade out transition, you have plenty of options in the effects library under video transitions as well. Um, but now that we have that fade in transition and fade out transition, and I would recommend using the same transitions for all of your titles if you're doing a bulleted list, uh, we can copy this a few times as many as we have bullet points. So I'm gonna hit Control C on my keyboard with the title selected in order to copy it. And now I can find any point in my timeline and hit Control V to paste it in and Control V to paste it in again. But in order for these titles to show at the same time, they should be on different video tracks. So I'm gonna drag this one to video track three and I'm gonna drag this third one to video track four. So as things are right now, they are going to fade in at different times. So what I would recommend is that as you have your audio spoken in the video, you should try to line these titles starting and ending places up with the audio that's being spoken. So if you have a topic such as talking about bus transportation, uh, then make sure that you put the titles at the right time in the video, obviously. But we're probably not going to want them to appear at exactly the same time because it's hard to talk about all three bullet points at exactly the same time. So you should introduce each topic one at a time. And for that reason, I'm going to have these come out a little bit further and have them spaced out maybe four or five seconds apart from each other. In reality, it might be more like 20 seconds, half a minute. Uh, who knows, it depends on the pacing of your video. 
Um, but what you want to do is expand all of the end times so that they match up. Because all three of the bullet points are ultimately going to end up on the screen at the same time. So for that reason, line up all of the ending times. If I go to a point in the timeline now, they're all stacked on top of each other and they all show the same thing. So we need to change the position and the text for each one. So for the second one, I might make it something like DaVinci Resolve Tutorial. And you can see it kind of popping in there in the background. We'll need to adjust the position in a second here. And the third one, maybe we say Tutorial for Beginners. So what I'm going to recommend to you is that you select all three of these and you anchor the horizontal position to the left. So you do that by clicking on this little icon here. Uh, and what that's going to mean when you do that is that the X position comes out not from the middle, but the leftmost point for each of these title sequences. So that means if they all have a position of 100, even if the titles are varying lengths and the number of character text, they're all going to line up evenly on the left hand side. So I'm going to change the position with all three of them selected, which means it applies to all three at the same time, and change that to something like 100. So you can see how all three of these dots line up perfectly on the left, which is important so that it looks organized and neat. Now I'm going to need to adjust the vertical position that I'll do individually. So I'm going to adjust this one to the top and get it where I want it, roughly speaking. And I'll go to the second one and put that a little bit below that, having enough space between them so that they're still readable. And then the third one should be somewhere below that. Now, uh, what you can make sure is that the spacing between these is even, and you can do that by counting the number of pixels between the top and the middle one, and then making sure that the number of pixels between the middle and the bottom one is the same distance. So the top one is at position 866, and the one below that is at position 682. So if I open up the calculator on my computer, I can figure out the difference by subtracting the second one from the first one. So 866 minus 862 is a difference of 184 pixels. And then to find where the third one should be, I can do 682 minus that difference we just calculated of 184. So it should be at position 498. Obviously, your numbers may be a little bit different here. So if I go down here, uh, you can see that when I was approximating it, it was pretty close. But uh, let's make that precise here by changing the Y to 498 there. So let's go ahead and play it back and see how it looks. So the fade from left to right is nice, and it should happen at different times for each title as we want it to be. And there's the third one. And then at the end, once the topic has been covered, uh, obviously you're timing it with your audio, they should all fade out at exactly the same time. And there you go, you can transition to the next part of your video. Um, now, one last thing you can add in. If you think that the background video is too distracting, uh, you could obviously swap it out with a different clip. But one other thing you could do is to add in a solid color that kind of layers over the background video to make the text more visible. So if I select all three of these title tracks and move them up uh, one or two video layers, then in a video track two, or as long as it's below the titles, it's fine. Um, then we can go over to effects library generators and solid color and what we'll be able to do with this is make sure that while the titles are up uh, we actually have a color layering over the background video so we're not going to want 100 percent opacity with this because we still want the background visible to be video so uh, in the inspector for the solid color generation i'm going to change it to 25 percent opacity or so and by doing that it'll be mostly transparent making the background video darker, but still visible. We can also have this start a little bit before the title comes in and then have a transition to where the solid color is completely visible. And what that'll make happen is that the screen will get darker because the solid color of black is starting to fade in. But instead of happening instantly, it'll be gradual. And gradual makes things look nicer usually in videos. So we have the background a little less destructive and all three of the bullet points in our title come in at their respective times and then fade out at the end. 
So it would be possible to add in some extra stuff here, like an image on a separate video layer if you want that to show up on screen at the same time, extra bullet points, or whatever you might need to make your point in your video. But as far as creating a simple bulleted point list inside of DaVinci Resolve for your video project, that's the basic idea of how you can do it. So I've been Chris, I hope you found this tutorial on creating the title helpful, and I will see you guys in my future video content.